It's time now to go ahead and take care of our freeze plugs. And um, I have these two items on here because I want to talk about um, what has been done in the past and um, something that we've kind of discovered along the way of doing additional research, talking to people, so on and so forth. Now, um, obviously, we're going to be using brass freeze plugs for the uh, outside freeze plugs. And this will get us started because we still got the oil plugs and such to look at as well. And uh, we're going to be using a uh, seal uh, plug installation kit, right? Now, in the past, what we've used is this Indian head gasket uh, maker, which works, right? And it, what it does is it helps create the seals and it makes a nearly brick hard um, seal when it drives, which has its advantages and disadvantages. And after talking with Roger at Roger's Automotive and Machine, what he's been using for years, because he used to use the Indian head, and what he's used for years now has been this aviation forma gasket, which not only dries hard, but maintains its malleability and holds up to the heat that the engines create. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and um, go ahead and coat our outside edge with the aviation sealant and then we're going to drive these so let's get started so off camera we're going to show this here in just a minute uh, we're kind of putting this sealant around the edges making sure that there's a nice even coat around now we do expect this to gloop up so we're going to be uh, ready to clean this up as it goes on to make sure that we're not leaving a big old mess on our nice fresh shiny painted block and you can see that we're also going to give it a coat on the inside as well. Now what he's going to do is use this toolkit to install this in two stages. Stage one to kind of get it roughly set and then the final set. It's going to be noisy here. Oh, excuse me. That was easy, goal achieved. Nice, flush fit here. So we're gonna do this several more times. So here's a little interesting uh, plug we put in. You probably can't see because there's not enough light, but if you're looking straight inside here, and I got the GoPro in on this one, uh, you can see there's a little plug up by where the, uh, well, the back uh, of the engine itself. So why did we plug that up? Well, this is the oil bypass. And what happens is, is that the pump is sitting right here, okay? And then what that pump does is it feeds in, right? Allows the oil to come out the filter area, right? And then it's pressurized here and then goes back through there, right? So um, it basically it acts as a way to force that oil into this area here. Now, if that plug was not deep in that area there, what would happen is it would just simply bypass the filter itself and then pressurize the rest of the system. We want this to go to the filter here. So that's why we went ahead and put that in there. It's very much needed. You can see how that gets pressurized because if you go back to one of our videos, the um, 
one with the uh, payoff, the engine of the 318, uh, 349 engine payoff, you saw that a stuck bypass, high pressure bypass valve uh, was creating a problem where it was sending too much pressure into this, right? So that uh, bypass valve feeds into here. You get the oil through this point here, comes out to here, and of course it's under pressure and then feeds back in through your main areas itself. Some of the other places that we have oil plugs ran into, um, let's see, oh, you can't see it from this side because we already turned it. But on the other side of the motor down here, there's some um, plugs on this side. We went ahead and plugged that guy. And now we're gonna go ahead and plug this guy to ensure that the um, oil is sent through the main system through that hole after it passes inside the filter itself. If you were using a dry sump, then you would leave this. This would actually t connect to the dry sump. Oh, okay. We may eventually go to that one day, but right now we're going to use the standard filter. Okay. So you heard it from Pop himself. Looking inside, you can kind of see it. I know the lighting's kind of horrible, but we have a plug in there. Of course, that helps feed. Oops, that helps feed the oil and blocks it off from this point here, uh, so it can feed the rest of the motor. And of course, we have a few more plugs to do up here. We got this guy to do, that one, and we're going to take care of the ones in the front. And we'll show you where those go here in a few moments. Now, in case you missed it, these are all getting the same sealant treatment as the plugs did. We don't want any oil leaks. Oil leaks, bad thing. We don't want our engine bleeding. So our last two plugs, we're gonna put one plug there, and of course, one plug there. It's time to take care of additional coolant. Additional coolant plug here on the side. This is a, basically a drain port. Now time to go ahead and check out and set in the crank. So um, unlike the can, we are actually going to be setting the crank in place uh, so that we can get our other measurements and uh, make sure everything is cleared and what have you.